here's what happens when artists team up with software engineers. Technology is just another means of creating art. So just like a paintbrush or a pencil, it's another tool. At this San Jose art show called Zero One, they showcased a new wave in tech art. We just call it art. <laughs> Hopefully it's fun too. Some call it fun, some call it new media. Organizers call it proof that when artists and technologists work together, a magical little bit of inspiration happens and they create beautiful things that no one else has, has ever thought of before. And like this two-story interactive screen, the work of an artist turned computer programmer. Wave your hand or move around, a computer converts a camera's video into a color bonanza. To people and how they move in the space. So I think it's art and that I'm giving you an experience. Experience? That just might be an understatement. Why is it art? It's art because I think it makes people smile, because she's a piece of living um, sculpture. It, or she, is the Ice Queen, a suggestive fashion statement about global warming. So why do they call you the Ice Queen? Well, I can be frigid sometimes. I can talk about the weather report. I can also get quite humid, though, and melt things away. Two San Jose State artists draped a lady's gown so it doubles as the Ice Queen's dress and also as an igloo that houses a weather station. So we invite you to step in under her skirt and see what she's thinking in the 21st century. Inside, a weather radio blares. A screen linked to a tiny outdoor camera shows the weather outside. And there's a ladder, the Ice Queen's perch. Adrian, the Ice Queen, could you take the microphone, please? I see a little hand here. I, I love when people think of the dress tents as a, a surreal escape from the daily existence and, and just sort of make them question their own experience with the landscape and the world. What do you think surrealists like Salvador Dali would have said about this? I think he probably would have entered the skirt and had a great time. Or not so great time, as in the next 90 years. This is tech art put to opera. Well, I wanted to do a piece that imagined what the North Pole would be like in 100 years, given the climate change gloom and doom. It's about 90 more years of global warming sung to Google weather headlines. Just like an opera, the screen's colors change as Earth's weather grows warmer and bleak. It is the feeling of the tragedy, the kind of lyrical tragedy, the over-the-top, overblown melodrama. The drama here, tech art may provoke you to think, but will it catch on? The idea was to create a venue where art and technology could come together to inspire both artists and technologists, but also to inspire the public. Only time will tell if technology makes great art. So future art commentators may have something to say about interactive screens, operatic color schemes, or the Ice Queen's dress. It's a pleasure to have entered your skirt. I am glad you took the challenge and went underneath.